divine elements of design in the decorator's voice. I'm a certified interior decorator, professional organizer, and planning and productivity strategist. And if those are topics that you're interested in, please subscribe to this channel and hit the bell for notifications. Also, if you're interested in joining my free five days to organize life and home email course, you can sign up for it in the link which is in the description box below. So today we're going to discuss the seven habits that's keeping you from having a clutter-free home. Yes, we all want a clutter-free home. We want to be able to see everything in our home. We want to be able to look at uncluttered corners and things like that. So there are basically seven habits that are keeping us from having a clutter-free home. The first one, you have way too many accessories. I know, I know, we want to have everything, we want to display everything, but we can't have everything on display. For one, if you try to have everything or you try to keep every accessory, when someone comes into your home, their eye isn't going to want to know what to look for. It's going to like, whoa, what is this? I see so many things over here, so many things over here. And too much clutter or too many accessories actually turns into clutter. So that is one thing that we want to avoid is having too much clutter. Another thing that's stopping us from having a clutter-free home is we're leaving rooms empty-handed. When you're going from one room to the next room, nine times out of ten, if you're watching this video, there is something in that room that can go into another space. So unless you're carrying a baby or something like that, try not to leave a room empty handed. If you can get in the habit of taking something out of a room that doesn't belong in that room and putting it in another room, that will help you maintain a clutter free home. Another thing or another bad habit that we have is we're not assigned a home for all of our items. Everything in our home should have a home. You know, we should have a place where we keep our batteries, where we keep our towels, where we keep our clothes, where we keep our laundry detergent, toilet paper, basically everything. When we bring something into our homes, we need to be able to have a place to put them. If you don't have a home for your items, it ends up, you know, sitting in a corner, sitting on a table, sitting somewhere and drawing dust, becoming cluttered. And when you come in your home, you have all these things that don't have a home it just turns into clutter. So that's another thing that's stopping us or stopping you from having a clutter-free home. Another thing, and sometimes I'm a little guilty of this. In fact, I'm guilty of some of these things at some point in my life and even the day. But one thing that we have to do is put away our clothes immediately. And like I said, I, I don't sleep with clothes anymore. I used to at one time sleep with clothes, but now I have such a large family we can't even sleep, we can't even sleep with clothes anymore. But um, you have to put your clothes away almost as soon as possible because you don't want to live out of your clean clothes basket because what's going to end up happening is you're going to start living out of that clean clothes basket and then you're going to have your dirty clothes and then your dirty clothes basket is going to get, it's just going to go from the clean, you're going to wear it to the dirty clothes and it's just gonna be a never ending cycle. So what I do to avoid this is to wash small loads at a time. I wash loads in small increments enough that I can put them away immediately. Another thing that's keeping us from having a tidy free home is sometimes we're not making up our beds. Now you have to make up your bed daily. Science has actually proved that if you make your bed daily, it kickstarts something psychological in your mind that gets you on the right path to having a good day. It's something about, you know, checking that very first thing off of your list that makes your day a lot better and you can start achieving a lot of your goals a lot quicker. So make sure you are making your bed every day. Another thing, we have too much paper clutter and I am a recovering paper addict. I had so many paper things. I had so many fouls and fouls and fouls of paper, but now I'm learning to only keep the important things that I need, like you know the important documents, things that I can't get online, things like that. But things like bank statements, credit card statements, um, things that you can have online, you can create a folder on your desktop for 
you know, your American Express card or your Bank of America, you know, bank statements. And you can just put all those in there. And then after a year or two years, you can delete that file and add another one, another folder with that. So instead of keeping all those paper documents and envelopes and circulars and flyers and so forth, that's a lot of clutter, you know. Mail and paper is one thing that comes into our home daily. We don't get anything daily that comes into our home besides our dirty kids bringing in dust and dirt. But we don't get appliances daily. We don't get, well, you may get food daily if you do Uber Eats or something like that. But normally mail is the one thing that constantly comes in. So we have to, you know, set up a some type of, you know, strategy where the mail comes in and it's going to right back out either the trash, recycle, or shredding. So that is something that we need to do. So I hope these seven tips or seven habits that stopping you from clutter, having a clutter-free home are things that you can take a conscious effort to, you know, work on. Everything is a work in progress. I never say you have to do everything at once on one day, but it is a conscious effort to try to make some of these changes. So if you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section below. I would love to hear if you I would love to finish this conversation there. Also, you can register for my free organized home and life email course. It's in the comment section below. And if you are curious, I do blog posts on Tuesdays, email newsletters on Wednesdays, and also new YouTube videos on Thursday. So 